Welcome to Drop Everything and Reason, and here's today's problem. Use the digit cards and statements to work out my number. You've got a zero, a three, a second three, a five, a second five, a six, and a seven. And here are the rules. The ten thousands and the hundreds have the same digit. The hundred thousand digit is double the tens digit. It is a six digit number. It is less than 655,000. And there's a question at the bottom that asks, is this the only option? So once you find one possible solution, can you find any more? Good luck.
Okay, time's up. So let's have a look and see what you should have done. So the first thing we need to do is think about which rules we can look at first and try and do them in an order that makes sense. So the one I'm going to pick out is it's a six digit number because that tells us an awful lot. We've got seven cards, but actually we only need to use six of them at a time. So that tells us exactly what columns we're going to have. We're going to have a ones column, a tens column, a hundreds column, a thousands column, a tens of thousands column, and a hundreds of thousands column. So those are the six columns that we are going to fill with these cards. Now, there may be more than one way to do this because we've got seven cards and that might open up more possibilities. We're then going to look for our next rule that we can figure out to fill these columns. So, if I look at my next rule that I'm going to look for is that the hundred thousands digit is double the tens digit. So that means that one of them has to be able to double to the other. One of my cards must double to the other. So if I look at the cards I've got, I've got a zero that would double to zero, and I haven't got a second zero, so I can't use that one. I've got three that I could double to six, so that's a possibility because I have got a six card. I've got five that would double to ten, I don't have a ten card. I've got six that would double to twelve, I don't have a twelve card. And I've got a 7 that would double to 14, but I don't have a 14 card. So the only double I can make is 3 and 6. So that tells us something for definite. That tells us that the 100,000 digit must be double the 10 digit. So the only double we've got is 100,000 being a 6 and the 10 digit being a 3. Okay. Now that opens up another one for us because there's another rule that says the tens of thousands column has the same digit as the hundreds column. Well, I've just used one of my threes, so I can't use the other three. Can't, they can't both be three. Um, the only other double I've got in cards is the fives. I've got two fives. So that means that the tens of thousands must be a five. And the hundreds is the same. So that must be a five. So we've actually ticked off this rule. We've ticked off this rule, we've ticked off this rule, and we've only got two spaces left. And it says, is, it is less than 655,000. So the numbers I've got remaining are, I've got the zero, I've got another three, and I've got a seven. So if I were to put the seven in there, that would be bigger than 655,000 because it would be 657,000. So that's no good. The 7 can't go in there. But will the 3 fit in there? Well, 653,000 is less. So yeah, I could put the 3 in there. And that leaves me with either a 7 or a 0 in here. And that's Either will do in this case. So I could put the 7 there. So that's one solution for that. But there are some others. We know from earlier we're going to have a 6 in here. We have to have the 3 in there because this one needs to be half of this one. That's the double. We know that these have to have the same digit. So we end up with that same pattern there. But we could also, in here, put the zero. And if we put the zero in there, we could still put the seven there, and it still satisfies all the rules. And there's one more combination, even. Because if we put our numbers in again, so we've got our double, we've got our same digit. If I put the zero in there, I can still change this the three. So those are the three possible options that you could get to answer this problem.